Okay, folks, welcome back to the Panzer once again. Um, so we're back in, and as you can see, we're on our wheels, but a little bit different this time. Let me get you guys some light. Uh, okay, so we have our coilovers installed. I uh, hope you're going to be able to see that in there. So they are now in. Uh, we're sitting on them. Um, so they're a very good fit in the, in the vehicle for us. Um, not fitted the um, brake components or the wheel spacers yet. So the wheel position is still in from where it will be. In the back here, we've been working on our... Uh, strut mount so you'll see here we've got a piece of 40 by 40 uh, box section steel spanning um, the back of the car and our um, our struts mount through it so the head of the strut comes up into the box section and a bolt then goes in through that so this is how we're mounting our struts it's currently welded to the body of the car, but in here, along the rails, we will be installing the interior subframe, and that will be then welded down to the strut brace. So basically, the uh, weight of the car will be carried by uh, the subframe and not just by the body sheet metal uh, that you can currently see here. So that's where we're at at the minute we've got this in and we're going to uh, go ahead now and work up the interior subframe um, let me get you guys down underneath here for a minute so let's see if I can get you some views in here we will be getting helper springs for the uh, struts just because we do need to uh, lower the car a bit um the drive shaft flanges are in i can't really show you that here now i'll lift the car up to show you that uh, again the wheels will be spaced out so don't worry about the fact that it's quite near the, str the strut there um, now some of you guys have been going on about how low the car is and how low the motor is well let me show you we're not okay I know it's, it's difficult to see in the video, but there's my big, big foot foot. And we've got tons of, of space here, so that has been taken into account. Um, all right, so I'll go ahead and show you the, uh, go ahead and show you our drive shaft flanges. All righty, so these are our, nice custom made um, flanges that we were showing in the last video based upon the uh, original Tesla half shaft cups are a perfect fit in here and give us lots of clearance um, for our half shafts which we'll be bolting in it's a very nice angle there for our half shafts to bolt up you can see our 
coil overs there probably a little bit better now. Um, nicely installed here. As I say, we do need the helper spring so we can uh, drop the car down a bit. I was looking for a longer spring with a 500 pound rating, but sadly uh, they're not available off the shelf and uh, none of the custom spring companies want to talk to me, of course. Um, so if anyone does know a good source of maybe 10 or 11 inch a uh, 500 pound rate, 1.9 inch inside diameter springs, do drop me a message. So that's where we're at at the minute guys. Um, looking very good. And uh, we're quite lucky here as well. We've got lots of clearance between the spring and the body of the vehicle. And once the wheels are spaced out to the normal uh, track, we will have plenty of room there as well. So. Yeah, it's really starting to come together nicely now. Alrighty folks, so that's about what we've got for you today. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Check links in the description for my Patreon and PayPal donation email addresses should you wish to support this particular madness. And we will see you in the next video. Uh, there's a lot more videos coming on the Panzer at the minute now because we're going to be doing a lot of work. So, thanks again for tuning in and um, happy coilover rate setting.